a life that is totally dedicated to God is the kind of life that is useful for the Lord. So nawa, ang ating dalangin that all of our life ay talagang totally for the Lord only. Katulad ng sinabi na Apostle Paul, for to me, to live on this earth is Christ. And when I die, I will gain. I will be victorious. Salamat sa Diyos na tayo po ay mga mga awiting nakakatat sa ating buhay. This time, I want you to open now your Bible in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 10, 11, and 12 lamang. Three verses. Okay? Ang sabi dyan, Ephesians 6, verse number 10, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. With these verses that we have read today, I want to entitle my message, Combating or Fighting COVID-19. Combating COVID-19. Kaya ko po ito naisip because that is where we are as a ganancial family right now. Because one of our sister is in the hospital and he is fight, she is fighting for her life. Mga minamahal ko, nais ko pong dalhin sa inyo ito with a prayer that this message will help you and will encourage you sa oras na to. Tomorrow morning, I will be preaching a message entitled The Armor of the Frontliners. Bukas ho yan. Okay, The Armor of the Frontliners. Now, combating or fighting COVID-19. Sabi po ng isang doktor, ito po sa Pilipinas, sabi niya, the world are right now, the world which we are in, which we are in right now, okay? The world war started now. Sabi niya, World War C na tayo ngayon. Hindi World War Three ha? We are now in a World War C signifying COVID. Yan na po ngayon ang ating kalagayan. Now, how can, how can we fight this kind of war in our human capacity, in our human ability, in our human capability? Is this COVID-19 a physical battle? And only a physical battle? Or a spiritual battle? Yan ang matinding tanong na ating kinakailangan sagutin bilang mga tao na siyang nahahawaan. Ang pamamamaraan ng tao na itinuro sa atin and we follow through is this. Kinakailangan to fight this uh, uh, COVID-19. Kinakailangan atin i-maintain ang social distancing. Amen? And we do that. Kinakailangan 
we should stay at home to fight this COVID-19. We need that. Okay? We need to have our family locked down to fight this COVID-19. We need to have our family quarantined to fight this COVID-19. We need to have this community quarantine to fight this COVID-19. We need to have this personal quarantine in ourselves to fight this COVID-19. Yan po ang offer at yan po ang guideline sa atin. Pero ang tanong, is this the way to fight and destroy this enemy? Or all of this are just precautionary measure? Tama ba? Hindi. Amen ba? What was the guarantee that this pandemic is already destroyed and defeated when we do this kind of ways? What guarantee that you and I will not be infected, will not be contaminated after the lockdown are lifted up? What are the guarantee na tayo po ay hindi pa mahawaan when we will have our congregational gathering as a church? Ano ang guarantee? Are we really sure that 100% we will not be contaminated? Are you really sure that you will not be infected? Huh? Now, kung ang answer ay we are not 100% sure. So, when human capacity cannot stop this, then this is not only a physical battle. This is a spiritual battle. Battle. Amen? Amen? Kung hindi ito kayang patigilin, mga minamahal ko, ng mga human capacity at hindi kaya itong patdain kasi hanggang ngayon sila po ay nagdi-discovery pa hinahantay pa nila maka-create ng virus na, ng pan ng anong tawag yan vaccine pampatay ng virus sabi sa Amerika mayroon na pero ang tanong kailan pa sa atin Hello? Can afford kaya yung mga Pilipino? Ang ginagawa ng ating mga, mga doctors at mga inventors is just precautionary measures. Habang wala pa ang vaccine, ano nga yung gagawin natin? Kaya may tendency lagi na tayo talaga mahuna, ma, mahawaan. Tama hindi? At mayroon na akong kapatid na nahawaan na. Mayroon na. So when human capacity cannot stop this, then this is not only a physical battle, but goes on to spiritual battle. Bakit po? Pansinin ho ninyo, ginawa na lahat ang precautionary measure ng, mga lahat ng, 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 ng lahat ng bansa. Pagkatapos mga kapatid ko, they will always resort saan? after the precautionary mission na ginagawa ng lahat, ang gagawin nila, luluhod sila at mananalangin. May nakita tayong mga picture na sa ibang mga bansa, kahit na sa streets, they will pray and they will cry and they will beg for God's mercy and for God's help para ano, para po ito ay matigil na at hindi na kumalat pa pero kumakalat pa rin. Bakit po? Because physical ba physical, this is not only a physical, but ang epekto ay sa physical. Pero walang magagawa ang physical to prevent this. So ano ngayon ang resort ng lahat ng tao sa buong mundo? Diyos, hello! Kung Diyos, then it is not only a physical battle, it is also a spiritual battle. Amen! Amen. I hope na intindihan po ninyo. Because ito po talaga ang sitwasyon. Spiritual battle should not fought in a spiritual level. Uh, 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 spiritual battle should be fought in a spiritual level. Amen. 
with spiritual equipment, with spiritual tools to fight this. We should use spiritual tools. We should use spiritual ammunition so we can overcome it. The affected is physical, but the battle cannot be won by the physical. It can be won through the spiritual. Amen? How? How? Bukas, sasabihin ko sa inyo, ang mga frontliners, tawag ko niyan tomorrow, ay, 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 ay yung tinatawag na prayer warriors. Yun ang mga frontliners in the spiritual battle. Ang mga frontliners ay mga spiritual warriors. At talakayin natin tomorrow yan. Talakayan natin. But unang-una, there are three C to combat sin. Si there are three C. Ang kalaban ay C. Si. <laughs> Ang pang-combat natin sin si in the scriptures. 1 to 2 to see verse 18. Ephesians chapter 9 verse 18. Ang sabi dyan, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching their unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Inote nyo yan, ang tindi ng versikulong yan. At kung ating i-dissect yan, ating i-absorb yan, sabi niya, praying always, nandyan yung consistency. Nandiyon yung tinatawag, hindi on and off dapat ang panalangin. Okay? With all prayer and supplication. Where? In the Spirit. We beg for the Holy Spirit to continually move in our, in our prayer. We ask God and, 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 and resell with God sa panalangin, mga kapatid. Kaya itong panalangin ito, hindi ito katulad ng ordinaryong panalangin lang. Panalangin in the easy time. This is the prayer that should be expressed. It should be done in time of crisis, in time of pandemic, in time of disaster. At sabi niya, watching their unto with all perseverance. Kinakailangan, hindi ka lang nananalangin with all pouring our hearts to the Lord. But sabi niya, Watching there unto binabantayan mo, ginagardyahan mo na ano, ng iyong pagbibitaw ng salita, ng ang iyong pagpananalangin ay talagang taintim at iyong minanamin, iyong mean business and you want God to, you want God's hand na sa panalangin mo, makikita mo na siya ay gagalaw gagalaw, kikilos, kikilos, gagamit siya, gamitin niya yung mga doktor, gamitin niya ang medisena, gamitin niya yung instrumento para ang iyong hinihingi na pangyayari at kagalingan sa iyong loved ones ay mangyayari. Yan yung klaseng panalangin na yan. Kaya una na nais kong panlaban natin to fight the spiritual battle, our prayer life, our prayer life, note this, should be developed to become a habit. Kaya ang unang puntos ay ito, our communication to God, ang unang se. Ang unang se is our constant communication with God ng ating mind and spirit kahit tayo nagtatrabaho araw-araw at kung ano man ang ating ginagawa in tune intact at you always constantly you always constantly pray beg in your mind and in your spirit why? because you put your spirit and heart in the need. Hello? Now, tandaan nyo po ito. Kaya sabi niya, our prayer life should become a habit. It should become a lifestyle. Not 
just a practice or exercise that is on and off. And lack of consistency that when time of ease and calmness happen, we stop. Hello? We stop. Yan po ang una. Kaya, nais kong under that ipakita sa inyo letter A, our prayer and prayer habit must be intensified with, by this virus, mga kapatid. Na iba ang panalangin ko, mga kapatid. Eh. Nung nasa sitwasyon kami ng ganito, na iba. Lalong tumitindi, lalong sumisidhi na kahit anong ginagawa kong ganyan, ang, pa, ang isip ko at puso ko ay nananalangin. I feel that I am in the presence of my sister laying in bed. And I'm on, wala akong magagawa. I could not touch her, but I can touch God and ask God and beg for God. God, touch her. Hello! At yan ho, ang dapat nating maintindihan. Our prayer and our prayer habit must be intensified by this virus. Number two, our prayer life must have the burning desire that level up, that level up, that level up. Mga kapatid, magli-level up siya. Our prayer life must have the burning desire that level up to ferventness and elevate to go higher beyond our normal prayer. Yan ang pangalawa. Our prayer life must have that burning desire that level up into ferventness. Into ferventness. Into ferventness. And elevate to go higher beyond normal. Pangalawa yan. Pangatlo, our prayer life must have the combination of faith, feelings, and emotion that means business. Hello? Our prayer life must have the combination of strong faith, persuading God, feelings, and emotion that really Ah, kasama na ang panalangin mo, kasama na ang luha mo, kasama na ang sipon mo, at kasama na ang lahat-lahat that you mean business, mga kapatid. That should be the spirit to really fight for this pandemic na ito, for this COVID-19. Number four, our prayer must see God. Our prayer must see God. Our prayer must see the invisible God. Our prayer must feel God. Our prayer must touch God and persuade God to move and work on our behalf. Dahil on our side, wala tayong magagawa. Siya lang. Kaya yan papasok yung sinasabi nilang quotation. That what? We will attempt great things for God and we will expect great things from God. We ask by begging. Note this. Sulat nyo ito. We ask by begging. We ask by begging. We, uh, we knock by banging. Are you with me? Banging the doors of heaven. Banging the pillars of heaven. We only, we, we, we ask by begging. We knock by buying, we seek by wrestling God. Yun po ang klaseng panalangin na ating gagawin. Then, we can experience the miracle and great and mighty things na sinabi ng Diyos sa Jeremiah 33.3, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things that you never see before, that you have never experienced before. That is the kind of prayer we want to do in this time of 
combat, mga kapatid. Hello! Kaya the first letter C is the communication to God. Number two is the communion with God. Is our communion with God. First John chapter 1 verses 3 to 4. Ito ang sabi niya. Verse, uh, first John chapter 1 verse 3 to 4. Ah, anong sabi niya? That which ye have seen and heard, declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with the Son, Jesus Christ. Verse 4, that these things, and these things write we unto you, that what? That your joy may be full. Mga kapatid, ang joy na kumpleto is in the communion with God. Meaning, our fellowship in the presence of God and our presence must be present in the presence of God. Hello! Ulitin ko. Our fellowship is in the presence of God and our presence must be present in the presence of God. Kaya nais kong sabihin ng mga kapatid ko sa Amerika, kung kayo nanunood ngayon, hindi ko lang alam kung ang kapatid nating si Sidarang Jonah is, is, is looking sa mensaheng ito. Pero nais kong isigaw sa Panginoon. Kung hindi niya man marinig, marinig ni God. At sabihin ko, at ang Diyos ang magsabi sa kanya, My dear sister Jonah, you are not alone in your hospital room. Why? That is your war room today, and you are you have you 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 have been in that war room for almost three to four days already. But tatandaan mo, mahal kong kapatid, kasama mo ang ating commander-in-chief na siyang mangunguna sa'yo sa laban mo. I don't care kung that, 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 that war that, that are experiencing, you are experiencing right now is your war between life and death. Alam ko yan ang sitwasyon mo. Pero nais kong sabihin sa'yo, hindi ka nag-iisa. You have the great physician with you. Because yan ang panalangin namin. And He is the great physician that can heal. The greatest healer of life. You can trust Him. You can call upon Him. You can cleave and cling to Him. Because He overcomes. He overcomes death. He overcomes the burying. He overcomes hell. Therefore, you can overcome with Him. Mga minamahal ko, my dear sister, na kung sudagdagan pa, We may not be in your presence. And no one, no one is with you. But nais kong sabihin ito. Una, hindi lang si Lord Jesus Christ ay nandyan sa'yo by presence. But we are with you. We are with you by the faith, by the spirit, by heart in this battle. Lahat ng mga mahal mo sa buhay ay nagkakaisa. And we are with you not in the physical but in the spiritual. We are with you. We beg God always. And we ask God 
to keep you safe and make you healthy. It may not be immediate. It may not be instant. But God will. We are with you in this battle as your immediate family. Pangalawa, all of our loved ones and friends are with you in this battle by prayer. By prayer. By prayer. Lahat ng loved ones natin, lahat ng mga kaibigan mo, lahat ng mga kaibigan natin ay kasama mo sa, sa labang ito na kung saan ang aming sandata ay panalangin lamang. Pangatlo, all pastors, brethren in Christ, who knows you and your situation are with you in this battle. Kaya therefore, I declare, you are not alone in this war. We are fighting with you together. At ang pinakahid natin ay walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon. So therefore, while you are in your bed, have that communion with God. Have that fellowship with God. Have that intimate closeness to God. At sa kanya ka umiyak. You may not be able to speak, but tears are a language God can understand. And last, nanais kong pag-abot po sa atin lahat. The last C, ang unang C is our communication to fight this battle, our prayer life. Pangalawa, our communion, our fellowship with God. The great physician, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the healer of life. At lahat tayo magkasakasama niyan, kaya pinapasalamatan ko ang lahat ng aking mga loved ones. Lahat ng aking mga kaibigang mga pastor. Lahat ng mga daughter churches. Lahat ng nakakaalam sa sitwasyon ng aking kapatid. Pinapasalamatan ko kayo. Kasama namin kayo sa labang ito. Last na nais kong sabihin ay ito. The last thing is our comfort. Our comfort comes from God. Our comfort comes from God. Sabi sa John chapter 14, verse number 15, anong sabi niya? If ye love me, keep my commandments. Tuloy tayo hanggang verse 23, verse 16. And I will pray the Father and He will give you another comforter that He may abide with you forever. Kaya lagi kong sinasabi ang ating Panginoon nandyan, naintindihan niya ang ating mga damdamin, naintindihan niya ang ating sitwasyon, naintindihan niya ang ating puso. Ang sabi sa verse 17, Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth Him not, neither knoweth Him, but we know Him, ye know Him, for He dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Kaya nandito eh. Kasama natin ang Panginoon. Nandyan sa ating mga puso. Verse number 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. 19, yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. Yang verse na yan, pinangahawakan ko. Dahil ang ating Panginoon na buhay maguli, buhay tayo, buhay ka, hanggang ngayon. 20, and that day, at that day, ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Verse, next verse, ano sabi? Ano sabi? Sabi niya, verse 20, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall, he, uh, shall be love of my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. 
Verse number 22, Judas saith unto him, Not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Verse 23, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and he and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Kaya sino mang kristyanong in bed na yon, hindi ka nag-iisa. Be dreaded. Bakit? Believers ka. May Kristo ka. With this COVID-19 spreading and becoming pandemic to the world, trying to invade everyone, trying to attack everyone, trying to attack me, trying to attack my family, trying to attack my loved ones, and trying to attack every human being. The greatest comfort we could get, the greatest comfort we could have, number one comes from the promises of God. Manggagaling sa pangako ng Diyos. Anong pangako ng Diyos sa verse 18, 17 and 18 ng John chapter 14? Ano sabi niya? 17 and 18, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it said him not, neither knoweth him, but we know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Verse 18, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come unto you. Ang ganda. That is the promise of the Lord na pambanghawakan natin sa time of, of crisis na ito. Ano? God's promises. God's promises. 23. Verse 23. Anong sabi? Basa. Hindi ko kayo marinig. Basa. Sabayan niyo ako. Go. Jesus answered and said unto him, If any man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make Abo our abode with Him. Maliwanag mga kapatid na ang Diyos ay nangako. Nangako siya at nag-assured siya. Amen? Ano pa? 25, 26, 27. Tingnan niyo po ito. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. 26, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace, I live with you. Wow. My peace, I give unto you. Not as the world give it, give I unto you. Kaya sabi niya, let not your heart be troubled. Never let it be afraid. Mga minamahal ko, yan ho ang ibinigay sa atin ng Panginoon that even in the midst of these troubles, in the midst of this war, the peace of God, the peace of God. Kaya nais kong i-address uli sa aking kapatid, Dai Jonah, the greatest comfort right now that you can get ay manggagaling lamang sa Panginoon at sa kanyang pangako, sa kanyang mga salita na kung saan alam mo mula ng pagkabata. Marami kang alam sa salita ng Diyos dahil tayo pinalaki ng ating magulang sa kanyang mga salita. Kaya, Sabihin ko sa yule, He is with you and will never leave you nor forsake you. Jesus alone is the closest and the nearest to you. In the in presence, ang Panginoon lang. Jesus is the greatest companion there is in your bed. The Lord Jesus alone. By His power can touch your body and destroy all these viruses inside of you. I'm praying that you will be out of this infection sa lungs. 
sooner. So not today. You will be healed in Jesus' name. Believe in Him and you will overcome by His healing hand. Kaya mga kapatid, to combat this COVID-19, to fight back in this COVID-19, hindi to kayang dalhin ng physical na pamamaraan. Hindi kaya itong i-overcome ng sistema na alam ng mga tao kung anong gagawin dahil yun ay prevention lamang. But nais kong sasabihin sa inyo, our communication to God must be a habit. Ito ang ating gamit. Our communion with God's presence must be sweeter all the time. Our comfort from God must be experienced at hand with peace and joy. Pag yan po ay ating panghawakan, pag yan po ay ating ipraktis, pag yan po ay ating i-apply, kahit anong pandemic, kahit anong virus na yan, kaya nating harapin yan dahil mayroon tayong kalasag. Tomorrow, we will take that. Okay. We have an armor tomorrow na ano, na siyang magprotekta sa atin sa anumang tira ng demonyo. Pagpalain kay lahat ng Panginoon. Pagpalain tayong lahat. God bless you all. Don't forget the three C in combating COVID-19. Because yan lamang po ang tools spiritual tools that is so effective na hindi din po pwede na, 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 na hadlangan ng distansya. Pero mo pag magkaroon ka ng pasyenteng COVID-19, siya ay madistansya sa pamilya. Siya ay madistansya sa anumang tao. So anong pinaka paraan? Ang pinaka paraan, paraan ng Diyos, at ang paraan ng Diyos na kahit malayo man, na kahit malapit man, na kahit hindi kayang mapinetrate ng tao, it will be always penetrated by the Lord Jesus Christ as the greatest healer. The Lord Jesus Christ can penetrate every organs in this body. The Lord Jesus Christ can penetrate and destroy any virus in this body that we have. Therefore, mga kapatid, Magtiwala tayo sa Diyos. Although gumagawa tayo ng precautionary measure, tiwala tayo sa Diyos. Let us have that communication always in tune. Let us that have that communion always with God. And let us that comfort ano, overwhelm us. Overshadow us. That comfort that will give us peace even in the midst of war. That will give us joy and satisfaction in the midst of trouble. Mga kapatid, the peace of God that remove all difficult thinking na kung saan negatibo, aalisin yan yan at mapipinitrate ka ng kapayapaan ni God. Yan po tayong mga believers. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Hanggang bukas uli, pagpalaing kayo ng Panginoon. Manalangin tayo to close our service. Amang manalaki lang Diyos. The message was been delivered. I pray that it, should, it did penetrate the heart of the viewers and all of the people. And Lord, help, the, help them to see. Maybe ang sitwasyon, hindi pa nila talagang so much ma-observe kasi wala pa sila doon sa ganitong sitwasyon na aming nararanasan bilang ganansyal family. But Lord, sana na, nakuha nila, natanggap nila, hindi lama ang prinsipyo, natanggap nila pati damdamin, nakita nilang napakabigat kung wala ang inyong tulong. Kaya lang kami, Panginoon, kayang humarap. Kaya lang kami parang, para, parang okay lang dahil mayroong ikaw na nagpapalakas at nagpapatibay sa aming pananampalataya. 
Ikaw na nagbibigay ng pag-asa sa amin. Lord God, bigyan mo ng pag-asa lagi ang aming mga members sa simbahang ito. At lahat po ng mga viewers, I pray, Father, that you continually give us that peace, give us that hope, give us that joy, that no matter will happen, while this pandemic are still here, ang aming protection, ang aming mga buhay, ang aming damdamin, ang aming pananaw at pananampalataya ay nakatuon sa iyo lamang. Our mind, our heart, our emotion is in you, O God, at wala ng iba. Salamat po. Ito'y aking dalangin in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.